the other one, the other dogs, um, they're timid and they're afraid that I'm going to uh, do something whenever I give them food, and I don't know why they're they're nervous or something like that. But I, but one of the things that I want to do is I want to make sure that I feed them one at a time. I don't try and feed them all at the same time. I feed them one at a time. So it's your turn, you know, uh, Azuker, or it's your turn, Taisy, or uh, it's your turn, uh, Villanova, or it's your turn, uh, Osita. I said Taisy. Taisy passed away there, but um, or it's your turn, your turn, um, Chavo, or it's your turn, Kiko. You know. I, with the, with Villanova, the littlest one, the skinniest one, what I had to do was I had to uh, take it from the ball because she wouldn't eat directly from the ball. Some of them will, like Azuri will eat directly from the ball. Osita will eat directly from the ball. Uh, uh, Chavo will eat directly from the ball. Chavo is, uh, is a black dog but with long curly hair. He's a little bit heavy too. Um, but Kiko won't. Kiko is the tan dog, the dark tan dog, that is a big, big dark tan dog. And of course, Blue won't eat from the ball, and Villanova won't eat from the ball. So what I have to do with Kiko and with Villanova is I have to grab, uh, you know, I have to put uh, put a scoopful, put a spoonful of dog food in the bowl, and then after that, then I put. Uh, you know, I, I grab one piece of the of the dog food, and I um, you know I pinch I, I grab it with my hands and then with my fingers, and then I I I, I slowly give it to uh, like Kiko, or I slowly give it to Villanova. <clears throat> Sometimes what I was trying to do is I was trying to hold on to the dog food uh, but that it, that doesn't really make sense I was trying to hold on to the dog food whenever I was feeding the dogs but that um, that doesn't really make sense because I'm trying to feed the dogs so because the reason why I'm saying that is the dog food is really it's it's real um, slippery and stuff because it's it's somewhat it's wet and it's canned and stuff like that, so it's kind of greasy. And so whenever I grab it, I have a really hard time holding it in between my fingers. So it tends to uh, slide or slip out of my fingers. And the trick that I found is, if hey, if it is going to slip out of my fingers, I would like to slip into uh, Kiko's mouth or into Villanova's mouth or into Blue's mouth. Um, and so that's what I do. With Kiko, he'll eat the whole pe he'll eat a whole piece, and Blue will eat a whole piece too if I uh, squeeze it out of my hand and uh, out of my fi out out from my, out from between my fingers and just kind of push it in their mouth. But Villanova, she won't eat a whole piece because she, it's too big for her. And so what I usually have to do with I have to take one of the chunks of the um, of the canned food dog canned dog food. And I have to break it in half with my fingers. It's not very hard because it's it's kind of like a um, composite of all sorts of different meat. So it's not really any. It doesn't have tendons and stuff in it, so it isn't uh, hard to break apart. You know, like steak, like a steak would be, or or a piece of chicken would be, or or you know, a piece of ham would be, or something like that. It's more of a just a mixture of different meats and just kind of smashed together over at the factory whenever they put it in the cans. So anyway, I give half a, I give half of a, um, half of a cut to, uh, or half of a piece to Villanova. And then uh, um, this last time, it was, she was pretty good. So all of them ate this time, this last time, and I was really happy about that. Even even Blue ate this last time, and, and with the first, um, you know, the uh, one of the first times I fed them, they just ate like.